Church. Um, oh. Team worked really hard. We actually powered the vehicle back, powered it down in um, August of 2003. Then about two years later, on, in September of two, uh, 27th of 05, we powered back up after our major mod period. And here you can see some folks uh, working in the crew module in the avionics bays. We did um, a lot of major mods to the vehicle. And here you see the nose cap. And this was installed for flight back in uh, April 2006. And you can see the guys here as they uh, rotate it and then lift it um, up to the nose of the vehicle. And uh, interesting about this nose cap, there's over 2,000 custom built blankets that the, that the folks installed on the nose cap. And here back in January, you can see where we installed the uh, main engines on Endeavour. This was uh, January 19th this year, and we installed uh, all three engines on the vehicle. This is the airlock uh, going into Endeavour. This was installed back in um, April. And you can see the folks as they lift from the transfer aisle of the orbiter process of processing facility up and over into the cargo bay of uh, OV-105. And there you see the, uh, the technicians as they uh, lower, lower it into place. And then here we're showing the, um, the uh, orbiter boom, boom and the sensor system, which is a new modern OV-105 OV since return to flight. And again, you can see it in the transfer aisle of the orbiter processing facility as it goes up and over to be installed into the uh, cargo bay of Endeavour. On the uh, port side of the vehicle, you can see the uh, uh, remote uh, RMS system that, that's already installed. And here, in the, again, in the transfer aisle of the orbiter processing facility, you can see the tunnel adapter. And again, as this goes uh, up and over into the cargo bay to mate to the airlock, and this is a spacer that's used between the airlock of the orbiter and the space hab that, that we're flying on, on, on this flight. And, and this work was completed back in uh, May of this year, early May. And uh, just shortly after this, we uh, closed the doors for flight, wh which we'll see shortly. And uh, it essentially completed the cargo processing in the, in the OPF for OV-105 for this flow. And here you can see the, uh, the doors being closed in the OPF for the last time. This is a special system we use on the orbiter in the orbiter processing facility designed to uh, close the cargo bay, bay uh, doors in a 1G environment. And then back on July 2nd of this year, we rolled uh, OV-105 out of the orbiter processing facility uh, on its way over to the vehicle assembly building. This was a real big uh, day for the team. Um, folks worked really hard over the last four years or so in, in the processing facility and uh, it was really a big day for them to, to see the results of their work and have the vehicle um, transition from horizontal processing to vertical processing. And w once we got into the vehicle assembly building, we uh, lifted the orbiter and we rotated it on July 2nd, as I said earlier. And then we actually lifted and mated the vehicle on July 3rd of this year to the external tank. And there in the v uh, vehicle assembly building transfer aisle, you can see the, uh, the sling that holds the orbiter. And you can see as it's lifted over the, over the orbiter transporter system and then rotated to vertical. And, and this shot here is, a, is Endeavour going uh, up and over the, uh, the transom in the vehicle assembly building into uh, high bay one of the VAB to uh, be mated to the external tank. And it's, uh, it's a real tight fit up there, George, to um, transition from the transfer aisle into the uh, high bay itself. We have to actually turn the orbiter 45 degrees 
to get through the um, transom and then rotate it back um, to the 90 degree point to uh, lower it down to uh, mate to the external tank. You can see the uh, tile and thermal protection system on the orbiter. We actually replaced uh, 2,000 uh, tile and blankets on the vehicle this flow, which is a, is a really big number for the folks. Um, it really took a lot of effort from our tile, tile production folks. And then on uh, July 10th of this year in the evening and went into July 11th, we uh, rolled the vehicle out to the launch pad. And that, that was a real big day for the, for the folks in the flow. And uh, here you can see as the vehicle gets hard down at the launch pad.